Hey guys, I'm Coach Michael Burt, the Super Coach. Got my beautiful wife Natalie here for our second, it's almost said second anniversary. <laughs> our second show of Living with a Monster. We believe a monster producer is a legendary creature that combines multiple skill sets to dominate a market. And uh, as you guys know, we want to help both the husband and the wife, the partners. And uh, so we decided to do a show once every other week called Living with a Monster. I'll let you guys try to figure out who the monster is in this relationship. Could be me. Could be her on some days. They do call her <laughs> She-Ra down at the CrossFit. But, uh, but today we're going to tackle a very, very specific subject. I've been asking our monster producers out there what they want us to tackle. I've been asking people what they want us to tackle. And, and a lot of people told me, how do you live with or what do you do when you have unpartnered growth. And we did find out that it is a word, right? Yes. Unpartnered growth is where one partner is growing, but the other one is not. And so I wrote down in my notes, what if one person is a monster and one person is a turtle? What if one is a monster and one is a turtle? What if one is expanding and growing and exploding and their vision is getting better and they want to grow in pursuit? And what if one is scared, complacent, contracting, wants to stay exactly the same. What do you do? So today on the show, we're going to cover three things today. Number one, what, what, is, what do you do if one is a monster and one is a turtle? We're going to tackle how do you close the gap? Like how do you get your partner included? How do you, how do you, how do you get your partner included? And then the third one is uh, we're going to talk about how to address it. You know, how do you address it? Because I think that could be a very difficult conversation if a person has to say, hey, I'm growing, but you're not. But I can't tell you how many monster producers I see, both male and female, that one is on fire and one's not. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's talk about this monster versus a turtle. Because I want to set some context for the people that are out there today. Obviously, some people, personality-driven, high D, type A, firstborn, Leo, that's me. I'm, I'm never satisfied. I'm growing, I'm pushing, I'm pursuing. So what if I felt like I was kind of having to drag you along and I'd be like, man, why can't my partner muscle up here? Right. And this may not necessarily be a bad thing. Um, I mean, I'm sure it is to the more dominant personality, but um, I was very close-minded for years and didn't even realize it. So um, we're going to give you some solutions today on a couple of ideas on what you can do to maybe start expanding your thinking. So when you and I met, when I was already a monster, a little baby <laughs> monster, and you were from Milan, Milan. Tennessee, mm -hmm. country girl from West Tennessee, wore cowboy boots. Well, you're boots. from Woodbury, yeah, so don't we don't, I, we don't talk about that. Uh -huh. She's country girl from West Tennessee, right? And and would you say that I was growing and you were not? Yes. That I was yes. dynamic and you were static? So yes. talk, talk a little bit about that because... I do believe that sometimes when you put two people together, I do believe opposites attract. And I think mm -hmm. that's a good thing. Because if you look at my personality and your personality, we're completely opposite. I'm a high D, you're a high C. Yeah. You're very compliant, I'm a rule breaker. Mm -hmm. Okay? And and if we, if we didn't have that, there is a nice balance there. I think if I went out and found somebody just like me, we'd want to strangle each other. Mm -hmm. So sure. talk about in the beginning how you were you were kind of stuck and static and, and, and then you got kind of interested in your own potential. Because I'm not calling you a turtle. But you were a little bit of a turtle when we first started. Yeah. Go on and say it to the yeah. camera. Go on and make it. I was a turtle. She was a turtle, okay? <laughs> she was a snapping turtle. Um, and like I said, I didn't even realize this about myself. Um, I'm from a very small town, um, which is a great town, but um, just not a lot to stimulate me on taking it to the next level. And so um, I did read your book, This Ain't No Practice Life, mm -hmm. um, which really got me thinking about you know, the next step and what I needed to do to kind of grow my thinking. Now, so let's talk about that because in my notes, here's what I said. One person has been turned on to something. Where is that coming from? One person <laughs> one person has been turned on to something, right? What, so one person is on fire, okay? One, um, one goes hard and, and could burn out. One is on fire, one is not. One has been exposed and one is not. Now, what I mean by that is if you want to really grow, sometimes... It's an exposure issue. You talk about right. being from Milan, Tennessee, and you were not exposed to a lot of growth. There mm -hmm. wasn't a lot of stimulation. There wasn't a lot of growth. But you were about 30 years old 
But why, why, why at 30 had you not been exposed to certain things? Was it crowds? Was it people you were hanging around? Was Probably. It, was it mindset? <laughs> yeah. Was it you didn't understand your potential? I mean, what was it? I think just going through the motions of life in a job. I mean, I was good at it, but I wasn't passionate about it. I mean, there was nothing, there was no passion in my life towards anything bigger than just my everyday going through the motions. And so this morning I did a video about this catalyst that comes into your life. And a catalyst is something that walks in and shakes it up and kind of opens your eyes to something new. For Natalie, it was she walked into one of my workshops on uh, This Ain't No Practice Life. Mm -hmm. And she started to dig into the book. She started to get serious about her own potential. She started to be interested, hey, in more than the book, if you know what I mean. <laughs> she started to be interested in the author of the book. And I started to be interested in her. She got a whole special seminar. <laughs> You know, Jack, I know it's a family show, so you guys out there watching. But but my point is <laughs> But my point is she was interested. She was interested in her own potential. And I wrote down, I know you didn't want me to use this as an example, but I got to. In the first show I talked about this. If you ever watch the founder, it's like he's out there dreaming and pushing and striving and interested. And he goes home to his wife and she's like very negative. Here we go again. Yeah. What else what, are you going to do? What, what yeah. else are you going to do? Here's another dream. Here's another thing. And that kind of just squelches fire. But she was not out there in the world. She was not out there growing. And this could happen to us because I travel all over the country. Mm -hmm. And I go to other cities. And it's vibrant. And it's on fire. And I come home and I've got these ideas. Well, if a person's back in, in, in Murfreesboro, I love Murfreesboro, but but when you're out there in the world, you come home, it's like, man, we got to go. There's right. things you got to do. There's you, a lot bigger, a bigger You may world say, hey, I'm not, I'm not seeing that same vision. So part of the problem is exposure, lack of exposure, and this mm -hmm. small town concept of not being out there. So, so when we get into this, when we come back in the second segment, we're going to talk about how to close the gap. Mm -hmm. If you are the dominant person in reality, in the relationship, if you are pushing and striving and dreaming, if you're in Monster Producer and you're growing, but you're going home to a person who is either banging on your confidence or beating you down or don't believe in your vision or don't know... How do you begin to open that other person up to a bigger future? Because I believe you are partners and you do need to be on the same page and right. you do need to push out there. So uh, today you're watching Living with the Monster. and we come back, we're going to talk about how to close the gap between you and your unpartner growth. How to drag them along with you to the top. <laughs> come on, Natalie Bird and Coach Bird. We'll be back after this. Hey guys, Coach Michael Bird, the super coach. And man, am I excited to announce my second retreat date, Seaside, Florida, November 16th through the 19th. We have so much demand for going to Seaside, spending time masterminding, going deeper on your business, spending some one-to-one -one time, really dissecting everything from your explanation of service to your selling system, to your follow-up, to the experience. And I partnered with Scott Nagy, multimillionaire who sold his business for millions of dollars to be able to look at every business on business design. So this specific retreat is to go deeper on your business, masterminds in the morning, right? Lunch together, dinner at the ocean. We're gonna have fun and we're gonna mix business and pleasure. Seaside, November 16th through the 19th. 2,500 bucks gets you two people to go down there with us. I only have eight rooms to sell. So take advantage, get in a relaxed state, Go to Seaside with me. Let's retreat to attack. Hey guys, welcome back. Brand new podcast. Living with a monster. Every single week we come into your life. And uh, we got a new show out called Living with a Monster. This is a podcast you can get on iTunes. I think it's right now under Super Coach. I want to give a big old shout out to the Big Kahuna. Big Kahuna is going to be there with us in Seaside, Florida. Mm -hmm. Just call Aloha.com, one of our good friends. He's in Monster Producer. He's going to have a new office in the new Greatness Factory. And he is out there every single day taking something very boring and making it interesting. And we're proud to call him a sponsor of the show. We're proud to call him a friend. And we got some other people going to be down there with us. Clay Whitaker and his wife yeah. Angel mm -hmm. going to be down in Seaside with us. If you want some more intimate time with us... And we, have, we like to work hard, we like to play hard, we like to have fun, we like to grow. And today we're talking, what do you do when you're with a partner that's not growing? So you're on fire because you've been exposed to something. Something has lit your fire. You're going home to a person that's static. And I always say there's three states. You're dynamic, you're static, or you're entropic. So Natalie, tell them, they're out there listening. This is going to be a tough conversation. 
for some people. Don't go home and tell Pete. Don't go home and tell your partner. Coach Burke told me to say this to you. Or his wife. Or his wife. <laughs> but but here's the deal. Here's the deal. Both of you have got to be growing and expanding. To me, we're coaching each other. My wife is coaching me. I'm coaching her. There's things I say to her that trigger her. There's things she say to me that trigger me. And, and we're I, open to that, which yeah. I think is huge. Yeah. Like some people don't want to have this conversation, but. Um, we're, we're open to that. We, we want that. So. so talk about how do we close the gap? There's somebody out there in the world, and they're in this, they're in this predicament right now, man. They're growing. They're in Monster Producer. They're bone fire. But, but how, do, how do you think they should close the gap? Um, I think one, one way that we did that is um, I got really serious about finding what I was passionate about and what I was talented at and how to incorporate that in his Monster Vision. Um, and actually started a catering business mm -hmm. and realized um, that I was really good and I loved um, entertaining and just the whole hospitality thing. So mm -hmm. um, we've now incorporated that into his business and so I get to do what I love, he gets to do what he loves. Mm -hmm. Everybody's happy. Well, here's, <laughs> here's what I would tell you too. By me pushing her and her accepting that push and that challenge, she decided to start her own catering company only to find out that the margins are thin. There's a lot of work that goes into catering and there ain't a whole lot of money. But it was through the spelunking, let's just say, of, of going in there and trying to figure that out that she figured out what her real talents were, were hospitality, interior design, hosting. Now, the question becomes, how do we use that in our business? Like I see Andy Holmes is on here. I see him and his wife doing things like that. Like right. she does his marketing. He's building houses. She's doing the marketing. Here's what I want to do. I want to, I want you to remember the word inclusion. See, when Natalie found her gifts and talents, now it's like, how do we include her talents in the business? How do we include her talents in the business? Well, we host people. We, we have parties. Mm -hmm. We have big events. We're building new greatness factories. What I want to do is, is use those talents. But not only, we didn't stop there. We went out and bought short-term real estate in mountains, in Florida. She manages those properties. So she is helping us every single day generate revenue. But it was the pushing and the accepting of that push mm -hmm. that she said, look, I need to leave the work I'm, I'm in because I'm not passionate. I'm good, but I'm complacent. I need to leave that work and I need to go help you build this business. So, so one of the things we believe in our house is we believe in converting liabilities into assets. So it's like when we bought the Sprinter, the Sprinter was $103,000. And a lot of people said, man, that's a huge liability. It's not a huge liability when you take clients out on it. Mm -hmm. It's not a huge liability when it buys us time. It's not a huge liability when we can do business from here to there. I told her, we can't live in the house we live in now, which is a million-dollar house, unless we turn it into an asset. So that means I want clients. Last night we had Ben Wilson, one of my top clients over the house on the back patio with us. We're having parties over there. So our philosophy in our house is you can buy a, a liability as long as you produce an asset to pay for it, as long as you take something mm -hmm. to pay for it. Now, how does that use her talents? Well, when we have the parties, when we have the events, that's right in her skill set. So I turn that over to her and I go, go sweetheart, mm -hmm. you tell me where to go, you tell me what time I need to be there, I'm on the bus, I'm having fun right there with you. So, so there is a way to close the gap by doing what? Wouldn't you say it's by including their talents? Yes. So talk a little bit before we go and break <clears> here, and I see a lot of people, Tom Love, Luke Frost, Look at all these people out there. Looks like you got more fans than I do, sweetheart. Maybe. Maybe Michelle Froedge, Christy Morgan. How do you, uh, so, so, but you didn't really dig into your talents until I pushed you. Mm -hmm. Talk about that. Um, I think I always knew that there, I had more potential. I just needed someone, I needed that catalyst to kind of. Yeah say let's dig in there and figure out what that is um, and if if you do feel that way don't be afraid of it because there is you know a lot more happiness on the other side of it mm -hmm. than just going through the motions every day yeah our pastor says something on the other side of conflict a lot of time is a greater intimacy and i do believe that so natalie accepted the coach and she pushed through it she went out there and we're including her in the business today we're talking what to do with your in a, in a relationship where there's unpartnered growth that is a word by the way it's where one partner's growing and one partner's not. I know a lot of people watching this are in that. One person's stuck, one person's dynamic. We come back in the final segment. We're going to talk about how do you address, how do you address this if you're in a relationship today where you're on fire and the other person's static. I'm Coach Michael Bird. This is my wife, Natalie, and you are watching Living with a Monster.
You know, a lot of people don't get that we have to have bait, cheese on the mousetrap. We have to give people a reason to come to the circus. We gotta, you know, and for me, one of the ways that I transfer my knowledge and my skill and my desire and my confidence and hopefully my likability is and energy is through video because we can reach more people. When you start to scale up your company and you wanna affect a lot of people, you can't take a thousand meetings in a day, but one Facebook Live, one video. And I was looking the other day and we have over 200,000 views on YouTube. You know, we're picking up 75 new subscribers a month. And, and that's a way for me to connect to a group of people. So Super Coach is a, is a podcast I do every week. And let me tell you the beauty of it, it makes me get better. I'm thinking about what topics do I want to talk about. It forces me to think through. It gives me more content. But at the end of the day, it's a way for me to take a point of view and shove it out to the market and see who's interested. From that, we generate leads and momentum and interest. We have people sign up for coaching programs. So it's my weekly podcast slash vodcast that we then push out through all of the mechanisms of Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and we put that out in the form of intellectual property. Most people don't have anything valuable to say because they haven't taken the time to develop content. And without content, you're just selling a commodity. What I'm selling is experiences, confidence, energy, focus, structure, relationship, creativity, direction. And I give that to people through a weekly show called Super Coach. Your credibility walks in the door before you do. I love when people call and say, man, I know that I got to play at another level. And everybody I've gone to said, you are the guy who can help me do it. Hey there, welcome back. Living with a monster. We, we define a monster producer as a legendary creature that combines multiple skill sets to dominate a market. It's typically a very dominant personality, a person that's very driven, very focused. And a lot of times, you know, you're in partnership with someone who is not that way. So it can become very frustrating. It can become very agitating. It can really drive a wedge between people. Yes. In the first episode, if you haven't watched that one, it, we really talked about how not to take it personal. But now we're kind of talking about how do you address it? How do you address If there's people out here watching this show today and they're going, man, I'm in a relationship with a person that is stuck, static, bored, in a rut, on a downhill slide, not going anywhere. What what can I do to address this? I mean, give me some, give them some tips on how you think they can address this every day. Well, I think first of all, um, you need to understand each other's personality. Um, he's taken multiple personality tests that I've read that have helped me understand that we are total opposite. He's going to handle situations different than me, and I'm you know, more laid back and compliant where he's a rule breaker and I know that mm. about him. So that helps me, um, you know, understand him yeah. better. So I would say understanding your, and that's a, a, a good way of how to address it. You know, do you push in and force them to grow or do you, you know, pull back and let them do it themselves? So I think that kind of and you know, determines. So, and you know, I think some people out there would tell us that, and we've had other husbands tell us this, that when I pushed hard on my wife, that that didn't work. It actually created the counter, the, the it was counterintuitive. When I let right. her become who she was going to become and I accepted it, then, then everything she worked out fine. Grew. Now yep. that doesn't work. That you know, for me, I push. That's only only you know. If it was up to me, we'd take the brakes out of the cars. It's on go. I'm pushing. Okay. Now, does that always work? No, it doesn't always work. But I think I wrote down in my notes. I think you got to put them in a position to prosper, which means you got to get them around other like-minded people who That's are right. growing and expanding. When we begin to travel all over the country, when we be begin getting around. You know, whether it be power couples or couples where the husband and the wife are both growing or both dynamic, we begin to play up. I think a lot of times you can enable each other. Mm -hmm. You enable mediocrity in your partner. You know that your partner has more potential. You know they could do more. So you just get complacent but, with it. But it goes back to this concept of we allow, we encourage what we allow. We allow them to be lazy, they'll be lazy. We allow them to do that. So I think, you know, we wrote down double date, get in a position, travel together. And here's a big one I see with a lot of people is the pride of a person when when they when mm -hmm. when the when the spouse says, "Man, I want you to grow. I want you to be dynamic," but that person is stubborn or stuck or think they know it all. You know, I need to be tempered a lot by Natalie because 
man, sometimes I can just go over the top. And so don't you think, too, that it, there is a tough conversation that needs to take place here. It's like, hey, I want to die now. I want to live a life of potency. I want to live a life yeah. aggressively. I want to go do things together. And, and we're kind of just enabling mediocrity in each other, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, here's, here's what I think. I don't think we can tell our children. I don't think we can tell our daughter to reach her potential. That's She's right. not seeing her mom and dad reaching mm-hmm. ours. I think our daughter needs to see us push and drive. And last night as we were preparing for this show, we had our notes out. Ben Wilson, a good friend and client, came over. Our daughter went and got her notebook. We're all out there writing notes and taking notes together. But what we're doing is we're challenging each other. If it were up to me, I'd roll in five minutes before the show and we talk about what we're going to cover. But Natalie, with her personality, we got to sit down. we got to talk about it. it. What are we going to cover? And so I think for you out there, listen, you need to check your pride at the door. And if you're out there and you're in unpartnered growth, your partner is trying to drag you along, and there's only so long they're going to drag you along, okay? And they're going to go get around progressive people, and that's when negative things begin to happen because they get around progressive people, and they go, why can't, then they start comparing. Why can't my wife be progressive? Why can't they do this? Why can't they be interested in their growth? Why can't they want to grow? Why are they not reading books? Why are they not interested in learning? Now, I don't tell Natalie what to read. She reads about houses, interior design. She reads about those things. I read about business. Right. But, but she finds areas she's passionate about. So is there any other tips that you would give them on how to address it if, uh, if they're out there and, and they, and they want to just really go do something together? Because I want you to build an empire together. I mean, I think when two people are in agreement <clears throat> that there's nothing that they can't do. I really believe that. So talk to them about that. I think uh, being around like-minded people is probably the biggest thing for us. Um, there's been times when we've been at dinner with other couples where the other couple has helped me see something in him or something that I should see a different way. And so I think that's really important. Mm-hmm. Um, I did a Monster Wives brunch not too long ago. That was really cool f- to have all the women and wives together to hang out um, without the husbands, mm-hmm. you know, just mm-hmm. to get to talk to each other. So um, we'll be doing a lot more of those kind of things. So I think that's probably the biggest So if we could, if we could sum this up, guys, put your, put your partner in position to prosper. That's what yes. I tell you. Get around people that think much bigger than you, okay? Re- really want to be a power couple for each other. Really want to go that's out right. there and push. And listen, leverage each other's talents. There's nothing worse in the world than one person growing and one person not. One person's going places, one person's staying behind. You feel like you're dragging the other person along. Could be the husband, could be the wife. I've seen on both sides. Right. I can't tell you how many monster producers come to me and say, man, how do I open my, my husband up to this growth? Right. How do I open his eyes up to what's going on? How do I open her eyes up? And I think you really, really got to leverage each other's talents. And until you do that, you're going to have unpartnered growth and that's going to be very, very frustrating. There's nothing yes. more powerful than two people that are in a dynamic state that are going out there and really, really accomplishing their self together. I if you agree. want to be in a dynamic state, i got an opportunity for you. I'm going to give you an opportunity. Come down to Seaside, Florida. Natalie and I are going to be down there September 6th, 23rd. 23rd through the 26th, 27th through the 30th. That's right. We're doing retreats down there. we got a lot of husbands and wives. I may have a special guest coming the 27th through the 30th that y'all don't know about yet. Big time player. And then we're going back November 16th to the 19th. We'll be enjoying each other's company. We're going to be coaching. We're going to be spending time with each other. And trust me, you'll come back and you'll be on fire for what you're doing. Every single, every two weeks, not every single week, every two weeks we're going to bring you this show, Living with the Monster. We appreciate everybody out there. We do believe trained people always outperform untrained people. And if you're in unpartnered growth, guys, I hope this show is valuable to you. And you can tell them Coach Burke did a show on this. So tonight at the dinner table, we need to sit down and talk about it. (laughs) Guys, thank you for joining us. Thank you, guys. Have a great week. Hey there, I'm Coach Michael Burt, the Super Coach. You know, I believe everybody needs a good coach in life, but what if you could get coaching every day on any device, any hour of the day, interactive lessons with me, but what you're really buying is a system, the Monster Growth System. You see, we believe a monster producer is a legendary creature that combines multiple skill sets to dominate a market. And one of the most popular programs I've ever created is called Monster Producer. But what if you live in other parts of the country? How do you get coached by me 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year? The Monster Producer modules, which is three years of coaching plus a mega monster level. 
how to position, how to sell, how to follow up, how to create an experience that drives referrals. In this Monster Growth Platform is all of my biggest coaching programs. Monster Attraction, Monster Selling, Monster Managers, Monster Operations. We've even got Monster Faith, Raising a Monster, Living with a Monster. All of my best coaching is in here. Over 400 coaching programs just for you to get anytime, anywhere, any device. And if you want the energy, the insight, the, the coaching that I give everybody all over the world, the Monster Growth platform is for you. You can get Monster Producer today. Just click on the link, give us your information, and let's get this thing started because I want to help you become a legendary creature. If you're interested in more, more time, more energy, more money, more freedom, more structure, more confidence, you know a good coach can squeeze that potential out of you. Go to monsterproducer.com and let's get you signed up today.